Hi, my beautiful brothers and sisters, part three of Joseph's trial. So now I'm starting in Bible verse 43, number 30. It says, and Joseph made haste of his bowels and did yearn upon his brothers. And he sought where to weep. And he entered into the chamber and he wept there. Like, even though he forgave him and he had, it was still, like, it made him almost, like, sick to his stomach to be brought to that moment. You know, but still, like, he had to move and then he had to sit there and, and let it out and cry. Because at the end of the day, that like, you think your family, your family, you, you expect we already have a demonic world out here that we're fighting. But to know your own, your own comes against you for what because you were chosen you know we already have the real enemy to fight it's not you you know so he took that moment and wept you know and he washed his face and he went out and refrained himself and he sat he sat on bread and he set on forth him by himself for them by themselves for the egyptians where did they eat with him by him by themselves? Because the Egyptians might not eat bread with Hebrews, for they are the abomination ab unto the Egyptians. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, but the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled one at another. And he took this and he sent messes upon them and before him. But Benjamin messes with five times so much as many as there that they drank and they were married with him. Genesis 44. He commended the steward of his house saying, fill the man's sacks with food as much as they can carry and put their man's money in the sacks in their mouth. He put my cup in the silver cup and the sack of mouth of the youngest and in his corn in the money. But he did according to the word of Joseph has spoken. As soon as in the morning was light, the men were sent away in their asses, um, and they were gone out of the city, but not yet far off. Joseph said unto the steward, follow, follow after them, <laughs> follow after the man, and when thou doest overtake him, say unto them, wherefore are you rewarded evil for good? You know, it is not this that is in which my Lord trinketh, whereby indeed he divideth, and you have done evil, and I am doing in so doing. So he sent um, his servants and said, go and get him. Remember, um, he left the money full in there where they were supposed to be paying for that money. But again, you know, Joseph is still poking at them back. So um, he said, go and tell him like, hey, you... He did something good for you, and you're going to pay him back for evil? Like, how dare you? The, right now, he sent the servants to pretty much go poke at them. Genesis 44. And they said unto him, Wherefore saith my Lord the words, God forbid thy servants should do according to this thing. Behold, the money which we found in our sack's mouth has brought us again unto out of the land of Canaan. How then should we steal out of my Lord's house, silver or gold? Within whomsoever thy servant will be found, both led him to die, and where also will my Lord's bondsman. And he said, Now also let be according unto your words, but with whom is it found? Show my, show my servant, and you shall be blameless. When they were spittingly took down every man in his sack to the ground, they opened every man in his sack. But he searched, and he began with the eldest, and he left the youngest in the cup that be found in Benjamin's sack. Their rent was there of their clothes, and they laid it every man in his asses. They returned to the city. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he had said, Yet there fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What did is that that ye have done? He said, Will you not have such men that I have certainly divined? It says, and Judah said, what shall we say unto my Lord? What shall we speak? It says, how shall we clear ourselves? God had found out the iniquity of the servant. 
Behold, we are the Lord's servants, both we, and that we also whom the cup is found. But he said, God forbid that I would do so, but the man in whose hand in the cup is found, that he shall be my servant. As for you, get you peace and unto your father. Then Judah came near unto him and said, O my Lord, let thy servant that I pray thee to speak the word the Lord's ears, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art part of those this is for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Lord asked for the servant, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And he said unto them, My Lord, we have a father and no man, and a child of his own age. The little one is the brother that is dead, and the other one is left alone. His mother and his father loveth him. And it says, And thou didst say unto the servant, Bring him down unto me, and set thine eyes upon him. I would have to stop right here, and I will do part three or four.